Kenny Rosenblatt from Arcadium Games. Uh, yeah. Woo. And Yumi Funky. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Or do I have to hold this thing? All right, cool. So uh, I am Kenny from Arcadium Games, and uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, UB Funkies. So uh, what the heck are these things, UB Funkies? Uh, these are the UB Funkies. Uh, they are, this is a starter kit that you're going to buy in retail that is a collectible toy that um, you use a USB to connect to your computer and um, enter into a virtual world. So. During my presentation, we're actually going to play a game, so somebody in this audience, or two people in this audience, will win a set of UB Funkies. So here's the rules. There's a starter kit for this side, and a starter kit for this side. And during the presentation, you can only hold on to the starter kit for 45 seconds maximum. Uh, we're on the honesty program here, so uh, pass it around after however long. And when I'm done, or when we get to Q&A, whoever's holding the UB Funky starter set, We'll get to keep it. Those are the rules. Okay. Ready? No, we started. We're good. Good. You can hold it. And if it goes around, it can go around again and again and again. Um, okay. So, uh, Arcadium Games is the game developer uh, behind UB Funkies. We were approached by a company called Radica Games about a year ago, and they said, hey, uh, you know, can you make some Flash games for me? And we're like, yeah, sure, let's talk about it. Uh, couple months go by and it's like, can you create this whole virtual world for me where these uh, mini games will appear? Uh, sure. So uh, what started off as a couple flash games turned into this whole virtual world that we had to create. Uh, a couple months later, Radica Games was purchased by a small game company called Mattel who's gotten a little bit of press lately. And uh, these are manufactured in China, so uh, keep them out of your kids' mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Right, edit uh, that one. So uh, what, what I want to do today is uh, talk to you about this uh, collectible toy and then uh, talk about some of the challenges we had while developing this virtual world and uh, go into some of the details of you know, where we struggled, where we excelled, and uh, what were some of the development challenges. So we're going to break out of the presentation and go into the demo. And while that loads, I'm going to show you how the USB portion works. So I'm running an emulator here, so uh, you'll get the idea when I uh, show you. This, let me turn that thing on. Before we get into that. This guy, his name is Yubi, okay? And these collectibles are the Funkies. The Funkies go into Yubi's head and change your on-screen character. So the starter kit will contain UB and two Funkies, and then the new Funkies are sold as collectibles by themselves. So every different Funky has with it its own little mini game and access to this virtual world. Okay, so basically it's a collectible toy. There are about 42 total Funkies uh, that are available on release and then every time you plug the funky in, you get access to a different portion of the game. So I'm not plugging this into my computer now because I'm using a godlike emulator. And we'll talk about why this loading screen takes so long as when we get into the development challenges. But basically, the whole game was uh, built in Flash. And then uh, we have a Delphi wrapper around it. So here you are in this virtual world. And you're walking around this virtual world. The whole point of this virtual world is to collect coins, which you can see my outstanding balance up there in the top right. So you essentially walk around this virtual world, find places to go, and then play games. And how well you do in the games will determine how many coins you've earned uh, to up your balance. 